Let's create some split text designs using Inkscape. I will show you how to create this monogram style split design and this word style split design. So let's get started. Let's start with the monogram style. So you will go to the text tool and type a letter, then adjust the size of the letter, then go to your character panel and select a font. I'm going to use the Sophia font. You can adjust your letter some more if you would like. Now go to the rectangle shape tool and create a skinny rectangle. You can put your splits in the letter wherever you would like. If you want a higher split, you can do it up here. If you want one in the middle or down lower, you can do that as well. I'm gonna put this one just a little below the middle. Now you will select your letter and your rectangle and go to the path menu and select difference. And that will split the rectangle out of your letter. Now you will go back to the path tool and select break apart. And that just separates your two halves. You can separate them a little bit more. I wouldn't go too far though, or it will start to look weird. Just keep that in mind when you are adjusting this letter. So now we will make a little frame for our name. Go to your rectangle tool, and this time just do a really thin rectangle. About like that. Kind of adjust this in the center of your letter and make sure that your line overlaps your letter. Right click and select copy and right click and select paste to do the same for the bottom letter. Now select both pieces and we are going to the alignment tool you want to make sure that these are perfectly aligned with each other. They look pretty close right now, but just to make sure, I like to use the aligned left edges tool. And you see that moved it just a little bit so they were perfectly aligned. Now select the top half of your design along with that thin line. Make sure they are overlapping each other Go to the path menu and select union. And that will make this all one piece. Do the same for the bottom. And now your monogram letter frame is complete. You can go to the type tool and type your name. Adjust the size of the name to fit the space in between the letters. You can do this however you would like. You can stretch it to fit the whole frame or you can just place it in the center, just whatever you think looks good. And then you can adjust the colors if you want to and just make it pretty. And that is how we make a split letter monogram frame type design. Now let's do the split word monogram frame type design. To do this, go to your type tool and type your word and then select your text and adjust the size. Select your text again and you can change the font. You can scroll through or search for the one that you want to use. I'm using Sports World for this one. It is a free font on defont.com. Now adjust the size. 
Now go to your rectangle tool and make your rectangle. Adjust your rectangle however you would like. If I have a letter with an opening like this A here, I usually like to keep my rectangle above or below that line just to make the letter a little more readable. Same with the bottom parts of the openings of the letters like in this D. I like to keep a little bit of the opening so you can still see what letter this is supposed to be. So now select both your text and your rectangle and go to path and select difference. And that will cut the rectangle part out of your design. Now we will select the design and go to path and click on break apart. And you will see when you do this, you lose the middle to your A. So just highlight both the middle and the outside of the letter. Go back to path and select exclusion. And that will break that middle section out of that part that was filled. So now select the entire top half, go back to path and click combine. Do the same for the bottom. Now you will select the rectangle tool again and create a very thin rectangle. This will make the frame part of your design. And adjust that until it is centered. Now we want to make a copy of this. So right click copy, right click paste, and put this one on the bottom half. Now I like to make sure I don't cover up the openings. I like to keep that open so you can see the pieces of the letter. I think that just makes it a little more readable. As you can see, my lines are not perfectly aligned. So I'm going to go to the align tool and select the align left edges and that just lines everything up nicely. So now select your entire top half, make sure they are overlapping, go to path and select union, then do the same for the bottom. Then you can split this apart a little bit and if you get off, if you get off center again, use that same align tool and that will line everything back up. Now let's add some text in the middle. You can type whatever you want. You can type the name of your school, the name of your town, or the sport you're playing. You can just get creative with this. I'm going to change the font. I changed the font and now I'm just going to adjust the letters and place it in the middle until I think it looks good. Now we can change the colors of the design. Just choose whatever color you would like from the color panel down here. Now we have a split text design for a word and we made it into a little frame.